again, this is Jonathan, and in this video, we are going to take a look at some more basic features of OpenShot. This is a continuation of our previous basics um, tutorial. So let's jump right in and add a few clips into OpenShot, which we just drag them from our file explorer into OpenShot. And I'm going to start this off by just adding a few pictures. So these are just, just picture files. Um, to our timeline, just kind of showing you what they look like. And let's just move them around a bit, and I'm going to right-click and give some animation to this. So I'm going to say Animate Entire Clip Random. And what that will do is give it kind of a random um, zooming, panning uh, animation. And so let's go ahead and right click and animate each one a little bit differently. I'm hoping that the random animate looks different on each one. So let's take a look. Coming from the left, coming from the right, coming kind of from the bottom left. Okay, so they each have a different animation. So let's pretend um, that you wanted to move these, uh, make some copies of these clips. Maybe you need these this is a logo and you want it to appear with a specific animation. Um, so one thing you can do is select the clip and right click and say copy clip. And then basically you can move your mouse anywhere else you would like it to go and right click and say paste. You can also move the playhead, which is this red line, kind of where we're previewing the video. And you can say control V and anywhere you put the playhead, say Control V on your keyboard, and it will, or Command V if you're on a Mac, and it will um, insert the clip. And what's cool is these clips come with their animation still intact. So I don't need that many Minecrafts zooming in. So I'm going to highlight them and hit the Delete key. So another cool thing is we can actually copy all three and say right click, copy. And we can come anywhere else, and I'm going to say Control V. And what you will also notice is all three animations have also been copied. So copy paste, um, very useful. There's there's more nuances um, in the copy paste system. You can copy specific things like just the animation or just some property. But for the basic video, just know that you can right click and copy and you can come over here and you can paste. Um, and that's a quick way to, um, to make copies of things all over your timeline. So the next thing I'm going to talk about, um, we kind of covered it there, um, multiple selection. So just kind of a, a good tip is that you can drag your mouse across any number of clips and move them together. Um, you notice they snap together. You can do all sorts of cool things. Um, but that's just kind of a really useful thing is being able to multiple select and move multiple things without messing up the timing of these individual things. Um, let's see, another interesting kind of uh, thing that might not be obvious is let's say we really wanted to do something specific with this picture. Let's go to the moon picture. Um, you can right click on that clip and select properties and it's actually off the screen here. Um, but if you right click and at the very bottom, there's a button that says properties. If you click that, you will notice over here on the left side of the screen, um, you will see that we have a properties window. And basically you can scroll down. You'll notice that certain things are lit up. Um, things that are lit up just indicate that there's some animation going on. So you can actually see the numbers changing the X and Y coordinates um, from our animation. So anyway, not real important right now, but basically you can come over here and you can interact and click and drag and um, enter new values in. And so it's sometimes very useful if you want to um, do something very particular with your animation or with your clip. So just know that you have a clip properties window. Um, so one more kind of interesting thing is how the actual screen is laid out. And one really useful thing is you might not want your properties on the left side of the screen. You might want them on the right side of the screen. Or you might want them um, 
right next to the video preview so you can toggle between them. Or you might want to click this little X and make them disappear. So now clip properties are gone. And if I right click and say properties again, you notice it reappeared in the same spot we left it. But sometimes what happens is people close these, these viewports, which I'm gonna close a whole bunch now, and they go, oh my gosh, what just happened? I've destroyed OpenShot, what do I do? So easy to fix, you just go to your menu under view, and this is a little bit off the screen. Let's see if I can, if I can zoom in. Apparently I cannot. Um, but basically go to the view menu, at the top of the screen, and you'll see a views menu with the option simple view and advanced view. Um, there's also a show all. So if you click on simple view, it will restore the original viewport of OpenShot um, to what it's kind of what it comes with when you install it. And that's a pretty basic um, what you see here. If I go to advanced views, advanced view, you'll see it, it's a slightly different layout with effects over on the right. Clip properties are visible by default. Um, transitions are in the middle. So you can kind of see things are all spread out so you can kind of access everything, um, which is pretty cool. So, so in summary, you can grab any of these, these rectangles and you can move them around. You can stack them um, by dragging onto each other, which creates little tabs. You can do all sorts of weird stuff. Um, you can even click this little button next to the X and you can detach these and just let them float. If you, if you can get it in the right spot, yeah. So you can actually let these just kind of float. Um, the only problem is, of course, the windows can sometimes cover each other up. Um, but again, if you can't, um, if you don't want it to be in a specific uh, place on the interface, you can just drag it off the screen and um, have it as its own window. So once again, maybe you accidentally close a few things and you go, oh no, I just broke open shot. Go to the Views menu, um, choose Advanced or Simple, and everything comes right back just the way uh, you left it. So one more tip in kind of the basic overview of OpenShot that's very useful. I kind of um, alluded to it a bit with, uh, with the Control V for Paste. But if you go to the Preferences under Edit, Preferences, you will see there's a tab called Keyboard. And if you click that, it will show you the keyboard shortcuts of just about everything you can do in OpenShot. And there's a bunch of them. And you can even customize them by typing in, um, by, by clicking in there and actually changing it. And what's really cool is that, you know, there's a lot of things you can do without, um, without clicking a button at all. Not just copy paste, but you can, you know, import files or open up the export dialog. Um, you can copy keyframes or insert keyframes, um, all sorts of really interesting things. So like a, a really good one is uh, transform, control R. So you can select the clip that you're previewing and say control R, and you'll notice up here the transform um, adds little squares around the picture, which lets you transform it in any way you want to. So uh, learning the keyboard shortcuts is a really good way to kind of become more familiar with um, OpenShot and now we've kind of done some crazy thing to our animation. It's kind of cool. Um, so um, again, to kind of summarize, we, we talked about copy pasting, uh, multiple selection by dragging your mouse, uh, keyboard shortcuts, clip properties, and then just in general, um, how you can kind of move all these panels around your screen and it will remember the way you like it. So, you know, you can leave them however you want. Maybe you liked video preview uh, down here on the right and you think that's just really cool and um, that works really good for you. Uh, maybe that's the way you learned video editing and you like the preview down there. But uh, when you close OpenShot and open it up again, it will in fact remember all these positions of all these little windows you've moved around. Um, and if you don't like it, you can just go up to the Views menu and you can reset it. So I hope you found this video um, somewhat useful, and I will see you in the next video.